Looking at the truth, the money never lie, no I'm the one, yeah, I'm the one All right, ladies, I'm here to show you guys how I do my crochet braids I plait my entire head down into uh, straight back braids um, I do do Y braids for the areas that I may want to wear apart with my crochet braids and everywhere else I just do a straight back braid so for me I do leave my edges out um, just because I don't want any stress on my edges I don't want any breakage and I like to moisturize my edges um, nightly okay so I do start with the middle. I make my middle part because I do want to make sure that that middle part is, you know, straight down the middle of my head. And then I, you know, make this braid, I make this braid, connect them, and then go straight back. Now, when braiding your braids, the way you get your part to look natural is to braid the braid as close to the part as possible. As you can see, my hair is closer to the middle part than it is to this hair over here. So basically, you're going to grab the hair in this direction. That way the braid will be as close to the part as possible. This allows your hair to look as natural as possible. You won't have that big gap that most people have when they do their crochet braid. So aside from the Y parts, I do braid straight back. And I do have the braids hanging, but I did fold mine up and tack them with thread. That's just something that I like to do too. You don't have to tack them with thread. You can just, you know, secure them as you're doing the crochet braids. You can just flip them up and, you know, put the crochet needle through with a piece of hair and secure it up with that piece of hair, or you can just go ahead and tack it. But I'm gonna show you guys my pattern now. So this is the side. As you can see, so this braid was hanging and I just flipped it up and tacked it. All of these braids were hanging and I flipped them up and tacked them. As you can see. So that's what I do. I'm going to. All right, ladies, here's the finished product. I have curled, I have cut, and I am done. So this is pretty much the same braid pattern that I had in my previous crochet video. I only changed one thing about it, and I will show you that. But I did uh, record how to get your braids to be close together so you won't have a wide part. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. This is a very important part when doing your crochet braids because it is the blueprint of how your hair is going to look. So you don't want any Y parts. And the way you avoid Y parts is to make sure that you braid your braids close together. You don't want that Y part. When your hair starts to grow, it will get wider. So you don't wanna start out with a Y part to begin with. So in order to achieve the natural looking part, all I do is part a good amount of hair, gel the beginning part of my hair to make sure my edges will lay down. And I'm using a Gorilla Snot Gel because that's the only thing that works for my hair. I am natural, so that's what I have to use. And I slick mine back, you guys, because when your crochet braids start to get old and they grow out this will look like it's slicked down hair so uh it just looks more natural and i'll show you a picture um of my hair when i had wore it up it just looked really really natural to have that hair slicked down i don't want my braid to start like right here but i do want to make sure that i try to even up my braids I want them all to kind of begin at the same place. So when doing my Y parts, I tend to add a little bit of gel just to make sure that the part is very visible. I want it to be visible, but I don't want it to be wide. So you do want to be able to see your scalp. So sometimes I have hair that is different lengths and it 
creates a new girl type of look so to make my part more distinct I just put a little gel on it closer to this over here than this over here. together it's more hair on this side than it is on this side it's more hair on this side than it is on this side so my braids are as close as they can be so now all I'm going to do is get another piece of connect hair and connect this so it will be a wide braid together and to tack it so I'll show you so I braided these together and then just tacked it down to the bottom row and then I took I took this braid and tacked it here and tacked it here so it would give me a braid across so I would be able to add more hair in the front and I did the same thing for over here flipped it up tacked it here and I tacked it here included a couple of other crochet styles that I have done using pre-curled hair so this was the model model jumpy one and this was the go go curl and for the ladies out there who do not want to commit to a crochet style I also created a lace wig using crochet hair this was the pre-curl free tress ringlet one so I will leave all of the links down below if you guys are interested so don't forget to check out my other videos. I hope you guys found this useful. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you guys later. Girl, that girl, that girl.